something else. We've got an amazing mom and author who's also a hot actress. Mm -hmm. That's right, Garcelle Beauvais is here. <laughs> Get this, we've got a girl who's gonna propose to her man right here on the show. Wow. Have you ever heard of that? Never. Wow. I'm about to die from anticipation, so yeah. let's do this, ladies, shall All right. we? Yes. All right. Y'all, we have to, because last night, Chad was a night for me, okay? Really? Yes, you know, me and Vince was going at it. I don't know if you have an iPhone. My I have iPhone one. I have the right iPhone. <laughs> so then, like, all of a sudden, he hits me with the dot, dot, dot. Y'all know what that is? The little bubble. The yeah. little bubble! Right. That you know like they're three minutes, and guess what the response was? What? K. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Tried it. I, I mean, for it. real, that means that I lost the argument right then and there, right? It's so weird. I have the same situation. My husband, it, so it's hunting season, which means if, if you guys don't know, like he's sitting in a tree stand. Right. I need a book a flight, and I usually go on like cheapflights.com, and I, tr yeah. I, I got like 30 minutes or I'll be asking what I should wear that night, and he'll be engaged in the conversation, then all of a sudden, boom, he sees an animal or a leaf moves or something, and then blackout. I don't hear anything, and I'm waiting, like, should I buy the ticket? 10, 9, 8, sales <laughs> gone, right. I miss oh, it, no. I don't know what to wear. Oh, then he comes That's back. That's so important. You yes. want him to hurry up and answer you yes. about what to wear. If I don't think, <laughs> it's life decisions, Lonnie. <laughs> okay. No, I want to know, because I want to take pictures and everything, and so, I just don't think don't start a conversation if you're not gonna finish it right. Well, okay, uh, Freddie. Right. Right. Seriously, uh, Freddie. I hate that. I don't you know wait what this more. phenomenon is called? It's called texting anxiety. It's this yes. new thing oh, yeah, that's yeah. happening yes. across the nation where people are getting anxious because they're waiting on you to answer them. You know, I don't have to worry about that because Woodrow has a landline, so <laughs> I don't have to. You know. Yeah. I'm a mom and I try to multitask. So I can be writing my best friend and then she sees the dot, 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 but then Aiden will cry or Aiden will, you know, poop in his diaper. Andrea really got mad at me at, at one point for, for doing that. Well, because she thought I was doing it on purpose, like yeah. you. Yeah. I do that too when I when I text you. You do that all the time. You do? I do? And yeah. I think you're just doing that to irritate me. No, I'm like, I'm waiting, I'm sitting there waiting. But, I, you know, I have calmed myself down with you because I know you, you have. have the baby. You have. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna mm -hmm. give her a couple more minutes. Thanks, and then, you know, and it, it erases and then you like, what? Yeah. I do that to my mom. I'll be like, mom, guess what? And then my mom has, you know, like a real Latina mom, she worries about everything for anything. Right. I'll be like, mom, you'll never believe what happened. Adrian, what is it? Adrian, talk to me. What's going on, mamita? Pero que esta pasando? And I'm like, lady, there's not a novella going on on the other side of this text message. Relax, but it'll be like good news. Like, mom, I got the part. I have to be real, though. I mean, if you got anxiety over a text message, something might be wrong in your life, all right? <laughs> To me, I mean, I'm, I'm a Pisces. It's about who wins. Yes, yes, How yes. How about pick up the phone, though? No, no, no. Just no. pick up the phone. No, but you can't be that gangster the over the phone. Yes. You know what I mean? You can yes. be real gangster over the text. I yes. think it's better from personal, from personal experience. Sometimes you can't read the tone right I don't want in you a to. text message. This is true. So just pick up the phone and call. Then there won't be any anxiety. No, no but sometimes no. it's already going and it started on the text, so it's just got to finish in the text. I think if you doing all your talk behind text, that means you trying to be big time. But say it to me um, with your voice. I want to hear your voice. You, if you want to no. I, I want to hear your voice. We agree on something. High five. When you in an argument, I don't want you to hear my tone. Because sometimes I'm on the other end crying. You know what yeah. I mean? I don't yes. want you to know that you got me all in my feelings. But you're that different, means, though. I'm you're saying. different. You I'm know, you'd be like, lies you tell. <laughs> you did that. You did, it's like, I can't, I can't text with you like that. I, be, I just pick up the phone. I can you. hear Tamar's voice through text messages. Yes. 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 On our group chat, most of the time it's all in caps. Yes. When I listen to you the, tiger uh, heifer? I see exclamation I, points a lot. <laughs> but like, when she gets excited about something, she'll say it, and then there's a lot. So you have to actually put yourself in Tamar's voice to read it like Tamar would say. And see, I don't have time for that. That's why I pick her up the phone and call Do her. you guys use a lot of emojis? Yes. You, you're supposed to, like, understand the sign language of emojis. <laughs> yes, yes. What's you your know totally? emoji? Like the frog the and the teacup, guy. dot, dot, dot. The, the chair is really important to me. Have several <laughs> seats. Several C. You did that to me. Yes. I remember that. Yes, I did a chair and I did yes. times 100 yes, did. to her. I sent it to her. <laughs> like, have 100 C. And I then call me. I could never find the, what is it, emoticons? Emoji. Emo emoji. Yeah. See? It's all right. You got to say it. Okay, that's my excuse for everything. You can download <laughs> an app baby. and they're moving. You can download, really? Like the one painting the nails. I think you sent me that one yeah. time before, the woman painting her nails. You yeah, know what that cute. means, all right? What? Whatever. 
It does? Really? Yeah. Painting the nails is like, you know, I'm sitting over here, you know, with my man, and he done bought me this, this, that, and the other, but I ain't thinking about him. Oh. Oh. My, my, my favorite is the crying face, the one you, that's like you, that. You always that come one, out with I to me. To, I'll be like, guys, I'm late. Or something's funny. That one still works. Wait, That's the welcome back to my world, America. This is what I have to <laughs> listen to. I have to see this on my text message. It's filled up with a bunch of signs that you, I don't you understand. Don't wait, no, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, I don't. wait, 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 hold on. I'm gonna call you out really quick because you may not send emojis, but you send really long, really meaningful, yes, really you do. get deep, cry myself a river text messages yes, yes, all you know. the time. I like so I don't even start them. with this one. I try I to really... inspire y'all after we've had a, a long day. I of don't want you to. There are I emojis. Emojis that will say that in one face. Oh, okay, honestly, I wanted to do a, a word of the day. That's, I said, we're gonna be on TV, let's do a word of the day. So I sent them a word of the day, and they don't appreciate it. She I don't do. ask I me. Word of the day. Do I, I like not it. count, Lonnie? I do. You, you well, you, okay, what? you know. Am I not enough? You really She's ain't got nothing to do. That's why me and you always talk. The rest of them, they don't even answer me sometimes. They hurt my feelings. No, no, but you, I get sensitive, and I think when you're giving me a word of the day, you think I don't speak English good. <laughs> oh, my God. Well. English well. English well. English, that is very you true. Speak English, English good. well. All right, I don't know about you, but I hate when I get a message that just completely ruins my day. You start your day off, you're like, oh, I'm the bomb. I'm feeling it. I just read her text message that tells me I'm an incredible human being <laughs> and I learned a new word. <laughs> and then I'll get like a text message from my sister and she'll be like, hey, A, are you, are you okay? You were on my mind today. I prayed, about, I prayed for you this morning <laughs> and you know, something's not sitting right Don't in my spirit. Don't that stress you out. Yes. It's not sitting right in my spirit. You know, you're on my heart today. I'll be like, what well, I what's doing? about to happen to me today? <laughs> be like, hey. what? She's like, you know, you look tired on the show. You look, so I look <laughs> tired <laughs> on my bags. Like, what's happening? Oh, no, that's not always cute. the sisters? Because they be trying to look out for us, but they don't know that those are not morning messages. No, it's those messages. are stressages. Yes, I right. agree. I'm not into Especially it. Especially Asians, your sister can't tell you to look tired. Now right. you can look sleepy. But not, I'm not tired. Yeah. Like, you tired. Has your sister ever sent you a picture where she looks good and then you look like a hot you mess? You guys make me want a sister. Like, yeah, see, I don't have a sister. We're like that, but I have a best friend. Her name is Monique. And oh. since we started doing the show, she thinks she has become, like, the I Spy reporter for The Real, all right? <laughs> if it's a message about The Real that's negative, she's sending it to me. Monique, <laughs> stop sending me the damn bad messages. I don't want to hear that, all right? That's don't want to do it. That is a stressage. Yeah, okay. it's stressing me. I got a stressage. So my mom, as she's gotten older, she likes to read Vietnamese tabloids. Like, it, it looks like Star Magazine or something for okay. Vietnamese people. But she'll send me a message like, oh, God, oh, God. And I'm like, what is it? And it'll literally be a big link. You don't walk to your car because people are hiding underneath your car and they'll grab your ankles oh to get you and break into your car. They oh. do that in Vietnam, too? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Yes, but it makes me so nervous. I don't shop at Target late at night anymore when I want to. Asshole. I'm sorry, but you know, nobody's gonna grab my ankles. Hey. Because I hop and skip to my car because I'm really excited to go home. I'm, I'm hoping that it doesn't ever happen to you. Well, what I do is, I, you know, I've learned since doing this show that I just don't look at messages. Let the phone go. It'll be okay, whatever's happening. Unless it's something that's really detrimental, yeah. you will know. But most of the time, I just let it go, and yeah. then I look at it afterwards, and that really helps. I to, think that's yeah. great. That's advice, good advice. Yes, yes, I'm mm -hmm. good for something. Okay, no, you're good for anything. <laughs> but wait, you guys, have your fans sent you stressages? Oh, all the time. Yes, yes. They my... tell me to stop yelling. And I say I can't because I'm Puerto Rican and I'm from New York and this is how I talk. Right. And sometimes they don't know that the audience is applauding really loud and I think y'all can't hear me. I'm sorry. You or, know what? You be yourself. Thank yes. you. You yeah, be yourself yeah. and you be you and you look at yourself on TV and try to improve, okay? That's what you... <laughs> Oh, she read that, you on the That's the text message that Lonnie sent me in the morning. You be yourself. You're good just the way you are, yeah. but you could use a little improvement. <laughs> no, and, and we all could. That's I look at myself and I try yeah. to, because I notice I talk with my hands a lot. I may yell a lot. You know, you guys, we're just starting this. We, mm -hmm. we, we yeah. are not professionals. Yeah. I'm not Oprah by any means, but yeah. I will try oh. to improve. But stop trying to stress me out, because I'm going to block your ass. That's what I'm <laughs> And at the end of the day, that's
that's what we're asking everybody else who's watching the show to understand. Like, you are a work in progress. We are a work in progress. We may not always agree on things. We may not Tell do it. things perfectly like you, mm -hmm. but we want us to be supportive of one another, period. My mom always says, be you and do you. How about you that? go a long way. I yeah. like Be it. you and yeah. do you. It's the real four reasons. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, y'all improving, and uh, <laughs> you got some improvements over there, baby doll, whether you know it or not. So. Not a little petty, but a vast improvement. And nothing's wrong with improving yourself. Yeah. Nothing's wrong with, you know, taking taking it to a, the next level. Yeah. I mean, I try. Did I try. See? Like, I try to stop eating carbs. It's not going to work, but I try. That's all I can do. I did for a while, Lonnie. I did. But Brad Pitt got married. Brad Pitt got married, y'all. I was like, I got to get me a sandwich. So, <laughs> I, you know. That was mm -hmm. a stress for me, all right. Mm -hmm. No, Lana, you eat pretty good now, especially around, especially around this one right here. Oh, yeah. Little Chia Pet. Y'all, she eats yes. Chia Pets for lunch. Chia seeds are so yeah. important, you guys. They have fiber, and for women out there who want a flat tummy, you want to make sure you're regular. She's like the food police, but yes. she will eat the Chia seeds, but then two minutes later, she eating pork rinds. Yeah. So I'm like... Hey, M&M's. You love m ms I do, Jeannie. the peanut ones. Here's why, you guys. I think I'm very, I'm very healthy. I eat 80% good, 20% my M&M's and my pork rinds. But you you gotta keep it moving, and I think a lot of America don't realize, in Vietnamese, we eat a lot of vegetables and fiber. Well, you know what, ladies? I wanna talk about two men in my life who are always there when I'm stressed. Okay. Ooh. Ben and Jerry. Yes! All right? <laughs> Child! <laughs> All the time. I, I mean, when it's my birthday, if I done got dumped, if I'm bored, basically when I'm bored, okay, <laughs> I have to, you know, do whatever I'm doing. I try to eat my feelings. Me you know too. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm like that feeling. too, Lonnie. My favorite is is Ben and Jerry's chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, I can eat that oh, just over oh, and over. Really? And over. Yes. I'm not oh a cookie God. dough girl. Really? No. What do you oh, like? I don't bake my cookies, honey. <laughs> no, I mean, for real. What do you like? Food? Well, you know, stressful. Okay, it, it depends. Okay, so like a couple days ago, my mom got sick and she went to the hospital, right? And my nurse was on straight probation, like for real. Uh -huh. So what I do is like I cook, right? Mm -hmm. But I cooked at both ends of the spectrum. First, I started off on Mexican food. I made some tacos. <laughs> then I made some enchiladas. And I made some rice, red beans and rice. And then I made some barbecue chicken. Then I made some potato salad. Then I made some peach cobbler. And I was like, oh my God. And then I ate all of this food. Oh my gosh. I'm coming over your house. <laughs> How often do you get stressed so I can come over there? You know what? That's real heifers. Because you know my sister Tony used to tell me that. She'd be like, oh girl, what you doing? Like nothing. Oh, how was your day today? You stressed out? <laughs> Don't you feel like making some brownies? Mm -hmm. I'd be like, oh girl, you tried it. But yeah, come on over. Okay. Yeah, you be like that sometimes. That is fun though to share the stress food with somebody, right? When, when you're going down, you're like, you're going down with me. We're getting two straws, full ch peanut butter, chocolate milkshake, let's right. go. Right. It's so fun to share. No, there I do it by myself. Yeah. Really? I lock yeah. myself in the door, I sit in my bed, I have my ice cream, and I just enjoy it, like, really slowly. I'll tell you guys I'm on a juice cleanse. Yeah? Lies. I'll be at Caesars. Pizza in the Kmart that's right next to my yes. house. Little Caesars, they have, and, and it was a special. Five I a pie, Yes, a whole pie for five nights. So I got really excited. And the breadsticks. Oh, breadsticks, and I will be in there going ham. Okay. Yes. Why do you say you're on, why do you say you're juice? Yeah. Because I try to juice, and then I just fail, and I don't want to disappoint Jeannie. Yeah. And because yeah. you'll tell me, and I'll root you on, and then I see you the next day, and I ask how was your juicing, Girl. and you said you were straight on it. <laughs> She drank I the juice to wash down lie. a bag of chips. That's <laughs> what she did. Let me say another. You stress lie. Stress eating, right? See, I've, I've always wanted to be one of those stress people who, you know, like, don't eat. I can't stand them heifers. Like, what you mean you lost 10 pounds because you stressed out? That is not me. I gained 15 because I'm stressed out, That's you know? Me. But it does not work unless you look a hot mess in bed while you eating it. Right? right? Yes, yes, yes. You gotta yes. look, I mean, real broke down to the ground yes. with all the food surrounding you. Know, have you ever cried at the same time yes. eating? Yes. I was like, <laughs> it, it's salt and salt. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my God. <laughs> it just fills it. Yes. Yeah. Truffle fries have gotten me oh. thick and thin, man. Ooh. I go anywhere with truffle fries, extra truffle. But that's one level of stress. When I'm sad and, and, and deflated, I get into spend. 
stress. Really? Oh, like, oh. Yeah, you, oh, my husband cool. knows when he sees the laptop computer and I've got all my credit cards and debit cards lined up and I'm just add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. Oh. Add to lies, add to lies, add to lies. I think I'm, I'm, I'm depressed and sad because I can't line up my credit cards <laughs> and write add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. <laughs> Listen, Jeannie, you depressed. You can't go broke over. I know, but it feels good to, I don't know, I just picture it'll be a better day when that shipment comes and I'm going to dress up and have a new outfit that'll just start a whole new day for me. Do you That's FedEx how I in one day? Yeah, yeah I do. It works, you guys. Don't, but I shop really inexpensive. Like, I go to Nasty Gal and the sales section, or Nordstrom and the Girl, sales section. Girl, that sounds like you're adding to my stress, because now I'm trying to figure out how am I going to pay for all this stuff that I just bought. I don't just eat when I'm sad. I eat when I'm happy. Me really? Too. Yes. Uh, you know, when I'm happy, and like, like with this show, I celebrate it, but I over celebrated. I had the champagne. Yeah. I went yes. to dinner four times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just, you know, because everybody was like, let's go to dinner. So instead of me saying, let's all go to dinner, I went to dinner individually with everybody. <laughs> wow, that's I fun had, though. Did I had you a eat good a time. three course meal every I time. I ate a 15 course that meal, probably. Amazing. I don't know. Okay, we gotta take a break. We'll be right back with more of the world. <laughs> successful actress and now co-author of two children's books. She's here today to tell us about her newest children's book, I Am Living in Two Homes. Please welcome the gorgeous Garcelle Beauvais. <laughs> Am I gonna win something amazing? You guys go right in. Okay. Yes. My biggest turn on, I would have to say, is a man who is confident. Yes! Oh, you know yes. what I mean? I agree, I agree. Confident but not arrogant. Confidence, but not cocky. I like cocky. Me too. Oh. You do? <laughs> I like a little cockiness, honey. Too. Challenge me. <laughs> well, Garcelle, you have appeared on several TV shows over the years, but we all loved your standout, obviously, on the Jamie Foxx show yeah. as Fancy. Thank you. And there were Thank always you. whispers that you and Jamie actually dated. So if you were working with a man here, if you had something with him and then you broke up, mm -hmm. you'd still have to work together. Right. And I didn't want that. You're still wait, wait, and it's... because of that, we have a great relationship. Did he oh. ever try and you shut it down because you're professional? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say did he try. Like, we kind of, like, talked about it right. a little bit. Uh-huh, OK. Because we were both single, and you know, And you hot. obviously have chemistry. We yeah. definitely have yes. chemistry. And that's something that you can't buy, you can't fake. You either have it or you don't. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, so I'm glad we didn't, because now we're really good friends. Oh, he good. was just wow. at my uh, book signing uh, party, and I take my kids to his house. And the first time we were driving up to his uh, driveway, and my kids were like, wow, is this a hotel? <laughs> <laughs> Garcel, you're yes. an actress. Yes. And an author, yep. and a single mother of three. Do you have time for a love life? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Right. <laughs> and they're biracial, correct? They are biracial. Their dad's um, Irish. Really? Oh. Yes. So, okay, yeah. I heard a funny story. Are you guys applauding Irish or the kids? <laughs> <laughs> I heard a funny story. Now, you have to tell me if it's true or not. What? So, were you mistaken for their nanny? Yes. What? Jade, the one with the lighter hair. Yes. Uh, we were at a play date. She said something in Spanish, and I said, oh, I don't speak Spanish. And she said, you'd make more money if you spoke Spanish. <laughs> she tried it. And I was thinking, does Telemundo pay a lot of money? Because I need to work with Telemundo. <laughs> That's where I want to go. And when Jade came up and Jade said, Mommy, come on, let's go. And she mm -hmm. turned bright red. I'm sure. And she grabbed her kid that she was watching and she ran off. I'm sure photo. she did. Wow. Yeah. I can totally relate to that. I'm sure you can. Oh, yes, my son has blonde hair and blue eyes, and I've been mistaken for the nanny, too. Because people are mixing and, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. different relationships are getting together, we're going to look so different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, like, let's say 20 years from now, 100 years from now, we're all going to be mixed with a bunch of stuff. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's why the first book that you wrote is called I Am Mixed. And obviously, it really helped a lot of people have the conversation with their children about being mixed. We would go to bookstores, and there weren't any books that sort of celebrated what they are, the mix they are, mm -hmm. or just talking about it. Yeah. Right. So, and I would have people come up to me also and say, do you know of any books for mixed kids? And I'm like, okay, I have an idea. 
So when I went to the boys and I said, so you know mommy is black and daddy is white. I mean, like, that's so obvious, right? right. They were like, wow. And what I realized is that to them, we were just mommy and daddy. Yeah. They didn't put a color to it. Yep. So I was like, that's interesting. But even more reason for me to talk to them and have a conversation before somebody I came know. up to them and said something rude or said something hateful. Right. I really wanted to empower them with the conversation. We have that book in our home and Aiden absolutely loves it. Aww, I read it to him before you. he goes to bed and Yay. I think it's wonderful that you thank did that, you. really. Thank you. Now thank you. tell us about your new book, I'm my Living new, in Two Homes. That one was, Because you know, I only lived in one, so <laughs> I just, You know, I lived with my mom, so I only knew my mom's point of view. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And uh, so when, once I got divorced, this, you know, came organically because my boys go back and forth. And it was really about stressing the fact that no matter how many homes you have, whether you have to go back and forth, love is love, family mm -hmm. is family, and we'll always be a family, right. whether we're divorced or not divorced. And I just want to make my kids feel secure. Good. And, you know, we're going to mess them up somewhere else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but exactly. for this, I really just want them to know that we love them regardless. And it's not their drama. It's not their fault. Right. And it's a grown-up issues. You know? I love right. that you did that. We've Thank got you. to take a short break, but when we come back, we're going to put ourselves mommy skills to the test. Uh -oh. Don't move. <laughs> You're watching the <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We're here with my girl, Garcelle, and she's been filling us in with her kids and her book and all of her family. Garcelle, you've got your hands full with twins at home, so you know better than anyone else that every minute counts. Well... We want to put your mom skills to the test by seeing how quickly you can get your kids out of the door in the morning. We'll put 60 seconds on the clock, and you have to make their lunches, mm -hmm. sign permission slips, mm -hmm. and get their soccer uniforms packed for their after-school game. Are you ready? I'm ready. To be super mom? <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. Okay. okay you have to okay. All the way down by the peanut butter and jelly station. <laughs> after. Okay. Yeah. So make them good. I'm yeah. timing you, okay. all right? Okay, if I'm in my kitchen in the morning, I'm not wearing heels. Yes! All right. Yes! 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 I'm here for that. I'm ready. Ready? Okay, ready? ready? Set? Go! go. Maybe you haven't had time to shower, your hair is all over the place, your nail polish is chipped, and your makeup is like smudged. Mm. Well, we've got the quick fix for all of that. Today we're gonna show you how easy it is to be pretty dirty. I like that song, I like that song. All right, first let's get a shout out to our model, Anita, who's ready to get pretty dirty, right? Hey, Anita! So we're actually gonna start with the hair. Now, if your messy hair needs a quick fix, the answer is a pretzel bun. So first, I know this might sound crazy, but you always have some hand lotion in your purse. You can actually use it as a smoothing lotion to bring that frizz down. So you're gonna smooth it out, then you're gonna part it right down the middle like this, and you're actually gonna put it in two sections where you can now tie it like a knot. Now, obviously, if your hair is longer, you'll need more knots. I'm actually only gonna do two here. This is good for weaves, too. Yes, right? and braids. You can definitely do this with braids as well. So you're gonna go in there. Then you're gonna tuck it right down the middle. You're gonna tuck it into the bun like this. 
and then you're actually gonna secure it with some bobby pins. All right, and you're actually gonna leave some of the tendrils down because that makes it look sophisticated and romantic. Okay. Now this is a fly look that anyone can rock, so check it out. Here you go. Ooh. Yeah! Cute. Thank you. All right, Jeannie, what do you have for us? Me gusta, Adrian. Okay. Oh, Spanish, yes. Just a little bit. Okay, so the next thing is, as you know, Anita, I know you had a rough night, girl. <laughs> I know it's been long, but sometimes when it's sweaty or hot like it is here in Burbank, your eye makeup runs and then it just ruins the look for the night. Look. Don't worry, I got you, <laughs> boo-boo. All you need is some Q-tips and some water. So take the Q-tip, dip it into the water, and then just remove the excess of what you don't need. So most of the time, a smoky eye looks ruined because you have too much of it running down. Can you pass me the chapstick, Adrian? Sure can. Thank you. The best thing to get eye makeup to move is to use plain old chapstick as an emollient. That was a word that Lonnie taught me, emollient. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I'm throwing in the next body thing. Okay, so here we go, look down for me. This is the key, see all that rise into the top? That's not cute. Oh, wow. Put a little bit of chapstick, <laughs> and we just smudge it back downwards. See that? Oh. That's actually genius, because most people have this stuff in their purse, like lotion and exactly. a chapstick. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I don't pack my eyeliner to yeah. bring it for touch-ups, really. So here we go now, so we remove the excess. Now take your Q-tip and you smudge the line near your lash line. Look up for me, babe. And take what's left on your on your Q-tip and just Ooh, mudge it right into the water line. Oh, right wow. Really Gorgeous. Oh. There you go. Well, hello there. <laughs> Lonnie, what you got? One last tip. Nothing screens janky nails like chip polish, okay? Ooh. So I'm gonna help you, because I do this all the time. <laughs> to hide it, keep your digits fresh by adding a coat of chunky glitter polish. Yes. Keyword yeah, chunky, because that's yeah. what I really hide. <laughs> exactly. And it, it's so chip. simple, you know. I'm gonna add it. You see how you got those little cracks yes, in there? We just add that in there. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a pedicurist, but okay. Manicurist. Oh, Those sorry, that hands. too. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> that was it. Her nails may be busted, but her look is not, all right? <laughs> If you want to find out more about these pretty, dirty beauty secrets, visit our website, thereal.com. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. More of The Real. Welcome back. Okay, most women dream of meeting the perfect guy, falling in love, and him proposing to her. But lately, there's been a trend of women who have said, forget all of that, and taking matters into their own hands. Yes, they are actually proposing to their man. Mm. Well, our girl Audrey is here and she is ready to take the plunge. <laughs> She's been with her boyfriend for three years and she says it's time to tie the knot. The best part is she actually tricked him to get him here today. He thinks that he's here to discuss how online dating works. <laughs> so, Audrey, welcome to The Real Girl. Girl. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Audrey. <laughs> You look absolutely beautiful, by the way. Oh, thank you. I'm excited <laughs> for you. But woman to woman, why are you the one doing the proposing? Well, you know, I'm a risk taker. I've always been known to uh, be a leader, a go-getter, a risk taker, and love is all about risk. And I'm a go-getter. I'm not going to emasculate him. He's, okay. he's at my level. Uh -oh. Oh, okay. he's, we're, we're eye to eye. You know, we're, okay. we're on the same level, and he's still a rugged, manly man. So why not wait until he asks you? Well, I have been waiting for three years and three months now, and I have just, I've even looked at rings online, shopping, and it just goes in one ear and out the other. He had a bad marriage in the past. Oh, okay. So, okay. you know. As long as you are prepared that if he isn't ready, that you know that that's a personal thing with him and it has nothing to do with you. Like, I want you to be prepared for that. I mean, what are you thinking in your mind whether he says yes or no? I no. mean, if he says no, of course I'm gonna be disappointed and let down and very sad. If he says yes, I'm gonna be jumping for joy and very grateful. Uh, and you gotta give it up to her because that's a big risk no, and I'm is. proud of how brave you are. That's no. major, I'm really proud. Thank you. But keeping it real, yes. I mean, are you nervous? Are you afraid? What is going on right now? I have everything going on. I, okay. have, <laughs> I got up the butterflies. I'm excited. I'm nervous. And I'm really looking forward to taking the risk. I've invested three years with this man in three months. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready to take it to the next level okay. with my relationship. I mean, I am going to be 48 in December. 
and I'd like to be married and have a wedding with David before I'm 50. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, have you and your boyfriend talked about marriage? I mean, does he know you're hearing wedding bells? Yes. Great question. We have, I've, I've looked online at rings with him. He okay. knows. I, okay. I'm wondering, you know, in the last six months, hey, David, you know, I'm not getting any younger. I'm getting older. And not that age has anything to do right. with it, but actually sometimes it does come into play. And it does. If you snooze, you lose. So I want a short engagement if he says yes, because... Otherwise, he could lose me. Well, you know what? If it doesn't turn out the right way, me and you going out, all right? <laughs> we'll do that, all right? So, all right. you got a part. Okay. <laughs> so, is no a deal breaker for you? Will you guys break up and will, will you move on and move on to the next one? Question. Yes, it'd be serious. We live together. I'd be, get your bags and get, get back and... <laughs> okay, cool. So, you have that plan. You're ready for it. I'm ready to take the risk with David and he had... Hopefully, he's gonna say yes. Girl, I'm, you I'm gonna me, think positive. Gonna think I'm like, positive. you've got me yes. thinking think here, positive. like, wow, I'll you pass. are very courageous. Like, you're really putting it out there. Do you yes. have a ring and everything? Hey, y'all, I got the bling. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my goodness, it has a little light and everything. <laughs> you are serious. I'm Whoa. Whoa. I'm serious. Whoa. Okay. Okay, wow. girl. I'm not playing around. She's not playing around. <laughs> Get your man, honey. I mean, like. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let me tell you what I think. I think that it takes a lot of courage. Like, women that really, really want to get married and that are just like, this is what I want to do and this is what it is, I give you a lot of courage for that. You know, because there's a lot of women that sit and complain about it and are like, he has an axe, exactly. he has an ax. Just take it into your own hands and do it if you really feel and it's been that three passionately years. about it. It's been three years. He has to make a decision, so I applaud you for that. I agree. So there's yeah. nothing wrong with what you're doing, girl. That's right. All right? Yeah. What is it about David that makes him the one? Oh, gosh. He's, there's so many things about him that I love. I feel like he was an angel. Aww. He really came into my life after my sister passed away, Aww. my one and only sister, Barb. And I feel like he is my true love. Oh, wow. wow. And that's exactly how you should feel when you want to marry someone. Mm -hmm. I agree <laughs> yeah. with that. All right, well, girl, you came here to do this, so let's do it. All I'm right. Ready. We come back. Boyfriend David is in for the surprise of his life when she pops the question. You do not want to miss this. We'll be right back with more of The Real. <laughs> Welcome back to The Real. Before the break, we were chatting with Audrey, who said she wants to propose to her man, David, after three years of dating. David has been isolated backstage and has no clue why he's really here. Mm. He thinks we want to talk to him about online dating. Boy, is he in for a big surprise. <laughs> yep. All right, Audrey, you came to propose to David, and it's now or never. So, you really ready to do this? Yes, I am. I am ready. <laughs> Nervous. Let me make it happen. So, do you have the wedding planned and everything? Yes, I do, as you a matter of fact. Well, tell me about it. Well, I foresee, if I had a magic wand, mm -hmm. I like the little Hansel and Gretel in the mountains, in the forest, Mother Nature, the birds are tweeting oh, during wow. the full moon, and very romantic. Sound like a fairy tale. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shay. A little, sweet little fairy tale. Okay, the suspense is killing me. Let's get David out here, shall we? Yay! Yay! Hi. <laughs> what about Audrey made her different? Oh, uh, well, she was definitely beautiful. Mm. That's for sure. Aww. <laughs> well, Audrey says you guys know everything about each other. Is that true? It could be. Are there any secrets between you two? You sure? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You, you know, sure? if, if y'all met online, maybe it's hope for me, all right? Now, Audrey, are you ready to tell David why he's really here today? Yes, I sure am. Are you ready to hear why, why I'm here with you? Sure. Well, we've been together. We've been through thick and thin, three years and three months, and you're the love of my life. You're the one I can always depend on, I can count on. You're my hero. You're loyal. You're my rock. And I'm so grateful. Every day is so fresh and new. 
with you. It's like I'm in high school. I'm giddy. You know, I feel giddy. And I just, David, I got, I got to tell you something. Get up. for being with us today. Now for the rest of you guys, we would love to hear from you. Do you think it's okay for a woman to propose or do you feel it's a man's role? Hit us up on Facebook at facebook.com slash the real daytime and tell us what you think. All right, stick around because there's more from the real when we return. <laughs> still worked up over that proposal. I mean, it's a real celebration, seriously. We are so glad you were here with us today. Please don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at The Real Daytime. Thanks to Garcelle Beauvais for coming by. Congratulations to Audrey Yay. and David. We're so happy for you guys. And thank you so much for watching us. We'll see you next time on